Today we will be hunting a box of nickels. This will actually be my first solo hunt for nickels. I did do five videos with my daughter. I will put a link in the description below and a link up here to that playlist if you would like to see that. They actually turned out very well. So we're going to be searching for anything from 1959 and older. That includes war nickels from 1942 through 1945, any buffaloes, any V nickels. We're going to be searching for proofs, errors, varieties, any farms. Now this box does have the holes in the bottom and I don't see anything through the holes. So we're going to open this up and see if there is anything on the top. Now if we could just get the bad boy open, we'll be good. Oh my God. I don't see anything popping out. I mean, but we do have a circulated box. So let me get these out of the way and we'll get this hunt started. That's we have our first find in roll number one, a 1956 from Philadelphia. That's a good start. Same roll, a 1959 from Philadelphia. That's pretty cool. Two fifties already. That's awesome. Roll number two. We have a third fifties, a 1959 from Denver. We're doing pretty good. Same roll, a 1957 from Philadelphia. That's awesome. Roll number four. We have our first forties, a 1949 from Philadelphia. That is cool. We are on roll number five and check this out. A really nice 1959 from Denver. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. The same roll. Another 1959. And this one's from Denver also. That is pretty cool. Roll number six. A 1940 staring at me. And it is from Philadelphia. Second 40s in the box. That's awesome. Roll number seven. Another 50s. 1954 from Denver. That's cool. Roll number nine. I thought this was a 1958. This is actually the first year Jefferson 1938 from Philadelphia. That is awesome. Roll number 10. Another 50s, a 1956 from Philadelphia. Our second 56, that's awesome. Roll number 11, and we are doing great. We found that 38, and now we have a 1944 Philadelphia, 35% silver. Now that is cool, that is awesome. Roll number 13, another 50s, 1958 from Denver. That's pretty cool. Roll number 15. We have another 50s nickel. Another 59 from Denver. That's cool. Same roll. Another 40s. A 1940 from Philadelphia. That's awesome. Number 18. We have our second 30s nickel. Second year. 1939 from Philadelphia. That is cool. Roll number 19. There's a dirty one there. A couple dirties actually. There's one. Is that a 1945? Oh my God, look at that. We have another silver. Philadelphia. I believe that's a 43. Let me see. It's a 1943 second silver of the box that is cool same roll a couple coins later a 1941 san francisco that is cool Our first san francisco that's awesome roll number 22 oh, there's a dark one back there where did he go there's a dark edge right there Wow, that would have been cool to be a nice silver, but it was not. What year is that? That is actually a 1939. And that is from Philadelphia. That was cool. That is awesome. Our second 39. That's awesome. 
Roll number 22, it, we actually had an ender. It was in 1949, and it's from San Francisco. That's our second San Francisco minted coin. That is awesome. Roll number 23, we actually had another ender. A 1959 from Denver. That is cool. Roll number 28, another 50s. A 1956 from Denver. That's cool. Roll 29, another 50s. 1952 from Denver. That is cool. Roll number 35, another 40s. 1947 from Philadelphia. That is cool. 36, we actually had another ender. A 1959 from Philadelphia. That is awesome. That one looks funny coming up. You are not going to believe this. What is that? I thought that was going to be a V-nickel. Actually a Canadian. Oh, I thought that was going to be a V. 1987 Canadian. That is cool. Had that weird look. First foreign of the box. 87 Canada. That's awesome. Same roll as the Canadian. Roll number 39. We actually have another 1941 from Philadelphia. That is cool. Roll number 41, our third, 1939, from Philadelphia. That is cool. Roll number 42. Oh, what is that? Oh, my God. Almost an ender. We're going to get our first Indian or Buffalo. I can see the date. It's a 1928 from Philadelphia. But that is cool. Silver and a buffalo in the box. That is awesome. End date. Almost an ender. That is cool. Number 46. If you're watching this, we must have found something. Let's see. There's a dirty one there again. Where is our dirty one? Right there. Oh, no way. That is another buffalo, and that looks like it's going to be slick, but that is cool. I don't know if you can see a date on that, but what are your odds? A nice, dirty, edged buffalo. That is cool. We will try to find a date for that for the wrap-up, but that is two. That is rule number 46. That is awesome. That's awesome. That's rule number 47. We found ourselves a 1947 from Denver. That is cool. Roll number 49, 1957, from Denver. That is cool. This turned out to be a an awesome, awesome nickel box. There's no doubt about that. Couple of Indians, couple of silver, a bunch of 50s, bunch of 40s, a foreign. This was awesome. And I apologize for all the a lot of the clips being blurry, but I did not realize that they was not focusing fast enough. But our oldest was a 19. This was actually, I said did say 28, but it is a 1926 Indian or Buffalo. Some people call them the Buffalo. Some call them the Indian, but I call them the Buffalo. This is a 1926 from Philadelphia. And that is pretty cool that we got a dated Buffalo. And the one that was slick, I did nick a dated. And it is actually also a 1926 from Philadelphia. So yeah, that is cool to find those in the box. That's awesome. And we ended up getting 10, 10 four, 1940s. But let's go through the 30s first. But we did get four 30s. First year Jefferson, 1938 from Philadelphia. That is cool. That one's actually in pretty good shape for a 38. And we did get three 39s. And the one that was black, and I thought this was going to be a silver, but actually it's a nice, actually even though it's black and it's kind of cool in its own way, 1939 from Philadelphia, and it has a lot of its steps. It's a little being nicked up and banged up, but it is in pretty good shape for a 39. And then we did find 1040s, and two of those, one was a 1943 Philadelphia. Silver war nickel, 35% silver. So from 1942 through 1945, you would have a, a mint mark above the Monticello building. That 
lets you know that it is silver. 1942 was a transition year, so some 42s will not have that on there. But usually a worn nickel has a different tint about it, a different haze, kind of greenish. And then we also found the 1944 Philadelphia, 35% silver. But that was cool. Two silvers, two buffaloes in a box. And when I was doing that roll, I had to show it the way it happened. But I did all my rolls live. And I just clip cut it here and there. But when I saw that little bit of those little dots coming up there, I thought for sure that this Canadian was going to be a V nickel. And that would have been cool to get a trifecta in my first solo nickel hunt. But that is cool. We did find a farm now. Had us a little excited. 1987 from Canada. But that's awesome. And we did find 1540, 1550s. And the nicest one out of that was this 1959 from Denver. That's in pretty good shape for a 59 in circulation. But that is cool. That is awesome. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And I would like to thank everyone for watching my latest video. And good luck on your next hunt.